Hi, it's Savannah O'Gwen from Savannah Land 2. Today I'd like to share a project that I've been thinking about for several months. Ever since paper smooches introduced their dies, I've been wanting to try etching glass, bottles and jars with a die cut vinyl. I think this is a super fun way to dress up my projects and gifts. Now I've done some research and I found that this technique is a bit dangerous due to the etching cream. So I want to put a warning on this video that this is a project that you want to do in a well-ventilated area with safety goggles and protective gloves, as well as in a place with access to water. Now let me hold up this jar that I've created. I die cut the word hope and etched it right here. I also die cut the little ribbon and created a charm with it. I hope you can see that in the video. I'll also hold up this one. This is a soup bowl, and I've die cut the word get well and etched it right along here. Now while this project is dangerous, it's super simple. You're just going to need a couple of supplies. You're going to need jars, glass pieces, or even mirrors. You also need some painter's tape, vinyl, and I'm just using black vinyl that you can cut in your silhouette or Cricut. You also need a lint-free cloth and some window cleaner. I've placed mine in a mini mister so I can use it for the video. You're going to need some aluminum foil, throwaway paint brushes, your etching cream, gloves and goggles, a die cutting machine. I've used my new cuddle bug along with my A, B, and C plates. And you're also going to need some paper smooches dies. Now I like to use the word dies as well as the heart from wedding showers and the butterfly from the butterfly one and two sets. So to get started you want to prepare your glass. Now for this jar I used a Prima flower packaging um, jar and you can see that there are lots of stickers left on it and papers and the the way I got it off was just letting this sit in some hot soapy water and they removed very easily so that was simple now for this jar all I would do is cut the tag and remove the plastic packaging and then I would just wash it with a window cleaner next you want to cut your vinyl now I have a couple of tips for this if I'm using the hope word, you can see on this mat that it's about two inches by three inches wide. And I suggest that you cut a piece of vinyl that is a little bit larger than that. So I would even go up to an inch longer and an inch wider for your vinyl. And then I would just tape it in place and then I would die cut it. Now when you die cut it you want to make sure that you keep all the little negative pieces intact because you're going to use those for later. Now that we've die cut our image we want to apply it. Now for small pieces and images that's fairly easy. I'm going to show you on this little jar. I've die cut this butterfly and all I would do is just peel and stick and I'm going to stick it right here. The reason I'm using using the butterfly as my first piece is so that I can place my die cut over it exactly where I want it and I know it will be straight. So let me pull this down so I can see and I'm just going to place This is not easy on camera, but you'll get the idea. And I'll just move this around. Until I get it to where I want it. And once you peel and stick, you just rub out all the bubbles and make sure the edges of your vinyl have attached to your glass jar. 
You can use a popsicle stick for that. There's a bubble down here, but that's okay. It's not a big deal, as long as it's not around the image. You can also use a bone folder to go around the edge to make sure that edge is on the glass well. Once you've applied your image, you will remove it, remove the centerpiece, and you can save this for later or you can throw it away. Now for larger pieces, this is a little bit dip more difficult. I've die cut the word thanks, like I have here, and I remove the backing and use that as my um, placement helper. And then I use the inside pieces that I told you about and place those inside the um, negatives. I've replaced them right where they belong. So I'm going to show you how I would do a word. When I did hope and get well, it was, I, I did trial and error on those. Those were very difficult to get straight and to work it out. But my suggestion is, here's my, the one that I really will use because I want that heart there. Um, what I suggest doing is cutting your die cut in areas that are easy to replace and only placing part of the word on the jar at a time. Because this is a curve, I would probably do TH first and then work my way around. So I'm going to try and do this and I'll probably speed it up in the video just so you can see how I would fix this up. Okay, so I've finished applying my die cut, and we can see that there are a couple of, you could see that it was very difficult, totally worth, the, worth taking your time, but you can see that my A doesn't match up completely perfect, nor does my K, and that's okay. We're just going to take a couple pieces of extra vinyl that I have, and we're just going to place that over those seams. Another way to ensure that those um, work well is to use a second die cut and just cut around that piece. Um, I totally forgot about that as I was cutting that. <laughs> but anyway works. I really think either of those ways would help. And let me do that again for the K. Okay. So now that I'm finished, I can remove my backing that I used as a placement helper. And I would just rub down and make sure all the negatives and edges are tight on and tight and flat actually on the glass. And then I hold it into the light to make sure there are no bubbles.
Now that you have your piece the way you like it, apply blue painter's tape all around the glass. Now this is going to ensure that nothing drips onto your glass creating a random splotch of etching. I actually didn't do this on my first project <laughs> and that turned out to be an epic fail. <laughs> Again, you can use your bone folder um, to ensure that there's a tight fit or you can just press down with your fingers. And if you have a circular image um, jar like this one, I would definitely put blue painter's tape all around because as your cream's on here, it gravity will pull it down. So you want to make sure that it doesn't get anywhere on your glass. Now remember, you can always use a bone folder to go around your entire piece, or you can just press to make sure that your tape is flat against the glass. Now we want to clean the glass with a lint-free cloth, wherever your finger was. So just lightly press on the glass, and you can actually see where your fingerprints were. Just wipe that away. And now you're going to want to move to a well-ventilated area near water. You will put on your gloves and lay out some aluminum foil. This is where you might need something to hold um, up your glass as well. So I used um, some of my painter's tape. I laid it like this on the table. You can also tape it down if you want. Next you're going to shake your etching cream to mix it well and apply it in globs over your image. So I took a brush and I just picked it up and just globbed it onto my vinyl die cut. Now you're going to apply generously. You shouldn't be able to see through the etching cream. Now I'm going to show you a picture of what this looks like because I already did it for this jar the other side. Um, and because I'm not in a well ventilated area, I don't want to do this on camera. So you glob it on and here's a picture of what that looks like. Now, it's wait time, and this can be a bit tricky. I read the instructions for the etching kit, and it had actually two times on there to wait. First it had a minute, and then it had five minutes. So I tried it with five minutes, and um, I tried that actually for the Hope Jar. I left the etching cream on there for five minutes, and it didn't work. So then I applied it again and left it on there for 30 minutes, and it worked really well you can see it's nice and etched. So you might want to set your timer and wait. For this jar, I would probably set it at 21 minutes. Now once your timer has gone off, let me remove these, you will have to rinse off your project. And all I did was I used my gloves under the water and I wiped it down. Starting from the top, I wiped down. Then I just pat dry the jar, and you're not going to be able to see much at this point. That's exactly where we're at on this one. Once it's dry, you'll, you will be able to see a little bit of etching cream left over, and that's where you're going to want to use the window cleaner to clean it off. So you just wipe it off. And you don't want to remove your vinyl yet, you want to let it dry. But if you peek underneath this while it's drying here, you can see that it has etched. So that's a good clue. If not, you'd want to push this back down and do it again for five more minutes or however long you want. Now you want to let it dry and then you want to check your results. And once you have what you would like, Finally, you can remove your vinyl and decorate it any way you want. Now I hope you will try etching some glass pieces using your paper smooches dies and vinyl. This is a super simple project 
and it really makes for some pretty decorative pieces. Please leave a comment below with a link to your creation. I'd love to check it out. Thanks so much for watching.